public access to our meetings. So I know in our rules and procedures, it says um, our regular council meetings will be televised. Ah. Um, uh, and that's one thing to televise them live and have people, you know, interacting. Um, I just think we we need to have public access to recordings and and as long as we're here, the video recordings too of our study sessions, uh, because we made a half a million dollar decision in a recent study session, and I don't think there's any recording of that. Um, was that and, the one that we? And that to clarify, it, I believe that was a not intentional. That was a glitch. Oh no, it wasn't was intentional. Yeah. Right. No, it wasn't intentional. But I don't think we put the the importance of oh, it's just a study session. Mm -hmm. We don't make decisions there. And you know, I we get asked about things that happen in study sessions and. Uh, I did hear, and I'm I'm just going to share this. I did hear that uh, uh, there was word that we were playing up too much for the camera or something, and I just I I just want to challenge people on that. You know, I, I, I tried not to take it personally, um, but because I'm personally so involved in what I do, it's hard to do that, uh, and I don't think we need to make a blanket rule. If somebody's hog and camera time, then we need to talk to the hog uh, and and take care of it that way and not make some blanket rule uh, that we're not going to air the, the study sessions. So this is a meeting of the council mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, public should have access to it, even if they aren't allowed to. Participate. And just fact checking, we we've been recording the audio for study sessions traditionally. That's been posted in public, um, but until recently, we haven't been doing video. But I believe we are now. If uh, that is, yeah, that's correct. So we've been public. Okay. The the audio recordings have been online. They've been online since right. uh, forever, actually. Um, even when using the old uh, recorder. So the technology we have in this room, we've been using Zoom format for audio recordings. But I believe there's a request to go ahead and produce the video uh, feed. Um, so we're just at the direction of council, what you'd like to do. Way in. So I see, I see two thumbs up there. Um, when I see a thumb up. Jennifer, Great point. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's the one pointing this way. We put up the video feed. I'm just kind of, well, we're, well, we're looking yeah. at it. Yeah. I want to play it for the go. cameras. Yeah. Hey, mom. No, it's she a, doesn't know how to find. <laughs> she doesn't know how to find. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, we don't work on that. But mm. uh, back, yeah. No, I get it. It's a, it's a whole other subconscious, but I look at it as um, someone in the audience, you know, would have the right to whip out their cell phone and record us um, publicly, you know, as far as my understanding goes. Um, and so I, I, I get the, um, right, the, the play to the camera temptation, um, but I think we, we're all mature and good, yeah. I'm, I'm also in favor of just if we have the AV ability and we have Zoom, it helps. And then you can also read body language and see what we're doing yeah. in the hand motion. And it's, you know, I think that you get it across a lot that way, communication wise. Sorry, Jennifer. No, 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 we're good. This, I, I don't have anything else to add to that. I have another question that I'm not necessarily seeing this in, in, in the rules and procedures. Oh, you, oh sorry. You want to close out the last okay. item? Sure. Yeah, yeah, close out. So I'm seeing consensus that we're good with video recording. So. Director Riley will so, continue so that. So one, one additional yeah. question. The Zoom codes have not been made public. Only only reason that one meeting was made public because there was action in the study session. So the previous council did not want them to be public. It was uh, just for a recording. So going forward, is that the direction we want to put public codes out that they can attend publicly for attendees? That's a good point. So BCAT, yep. of course, broadcasts our general meetings, but not the study sessions. Yeah, and they, so would, and they wouldn't need to. We'd just yeah. be, we'd be putting the Zoom codes out just like a normal Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. They just have not been put out in the, into the public. Um, it's only like invite only, only that one meeting right. um, was available. So gotcha. if I that's the case, we'll put them out to the public. They're always invited, but the Zoom feed was not part of the study session. It was a recording function. I don't have a problem with making it public at all. I think yeah. it's a great idea. Perfect. The okay. only cap, and I, I, I'm in support too, the only caveat I see is that if the day comes that we ever want to move study sessions back upstairs to the conference room, um, IT-wise, we'll have to figure out what that looks like. 
Yeah, um, yeah we're not supporting that room right now right. to be able to do that, but it, it could happen. Sounds good. Of course, we can always bring down the portable whiteboard down here if we want to jump to a whiteboard during a study session. So I like the whiteboard. Okay. So going forward for now, we'll put out the public Zoom code so folks can watch virtually just like they can in person. They will still not be able to participate during study sessions and give input, but they can watch and the recordings will be posted. Perfect. Thank you. I'll work with uh, Laura and Christine. All right. Thank you, Director Riley. Uh, Jennifer, you have another item on.